has got the right to participate in free elections. Mm -hmm. But Article 17 of the Namibian Constitution states that all citizens shall have the right to participate in peaceful political activities intended to influence the composition of government and the policies of government. It also continues to say that all citizens shall have the right to form and join political parties and subject to qualifications that may be prescribed by law as is required in democratic society to participate in the conduct of public affairs, whether they do that directly, which is what I'm doing independent of any political party, or through freely chosen representative. Freely chosen representative, the object of the electoral commission is to exclusively conduct free conduct and direct free and fair democratic elections subject to the Namibian constitution. Thank you, Doctor. The elections are less than four weeks ago. Do you plan to go to court before the 27th of November to oppose the use of EVMs in this election? Time is of no essence to a democratic process. Whether the elections are four weeks ago, I'll seek what is said in Article 18, which says that administrative bodies and administrative officials must conduct themselves reasonably and fair and in compliance with common law. And any person aggrieved by their conduct will have the right to approach an appropriate forum for a remedy. I shall seek a remedy in exercising my Article 12 in the Namibian Constitution and my Article 8 dignity. My dignity will be breached and the integrity, if the integrity of the electoral process is compromised by the sheer use of EVMs. Because if I can divert, if you can divert your phone calls from phone A to B, you can divert a vote from candidate A's basket to candidate B. Thank you, there Doctor. There can be no integrity. Se second last question, please. Yes, second how, last question. How big do you believe your support is in Namibia? My support is irrespective of political party. And I can guarantee you the people will speak and I shall be victorious with my people. Final question, Doctor. Are you still a member of the ruling Swapo Party as there you stand is, here? Rule 49 of the Swapo Party rule states that in terms of the Electoral Act, those candidates on the party ticket are essentially sponsored by the party. It's a party that sp spends money on them. And therefore, once they are elected in the positions that they stand for, cannot turn around to say that the party has got no say in what they conduct themselves in their positions. Therefore, the other side of the coin is those members of the party who are not sponsored by the party. I am a member of the Swapo party. I shall never resign from the Swapo party. Swapo has got no legal basis to expel me. And as a consequence of that, Swapo party in terms of Article 5 of the Namibian Constitution, which states that all these freedoms and rights shall be respected and upheld by the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary and all government institutions and where appropriate all natural persons, you and me and all legal legal persons consequently swapo party as a legal person has a right and obligation under article 5 and the president of namibia under article 5 to respect my exercise of my article 17 to participate in political activities directly meaning independent of the political party and we must remember a representative of the political party in terms of section 72 of the Electoral Act, Act 5 of 2014, does not represent the members. They are representing an, a, a legal person, the political party. Because Article 10 of the Namibian Constitution says all persons shall be equal. All persons is the natural person and the legal person. And because of that equality, and because these political parties are registered as political uh, in entities, they have to participate in political activities. But political parties don't have ears, they don't have eyes, they don't have legs to go and campaign. Therefore, a representative elected by those people. And remember, remember, section 135, subsection 2B, Roman numeral 5 of the Electoral Act states that political parties may not exercise discriminatory practices contrary to the Namibian constitution. And I will state again once more, Comrade Hake Kinko, who automatically ascended to the representation of the Swapo party in these elections, did so when automaticity in terms of rule 53 of the Swapo party rules is contrary to rule 12 
Rule 12 says that no positions in SWAPO shall be filled by automatic acclamation or confirmation unless there is only one candidate. All positions shall be elected unless provided for otherwise in the Constitution of SWAPO. Constitution of SWAPO Article 9A that deals with the job of the President has not in any way stated that the President of SWAPO shall automatically be a candidate for the national Thank elections. Thank you, Doctor. But if you're so unhappy with SWAPO, why didn't you I'm not unhappy with SWAPO. I'm unhappy with the manner in which the leadership disregards the rules. Thank you. Thank you. We are premised in Article 1 that there is formed the Namibian Republic, sovereign, secular, democratic, a unitary state, founded on the principles of democracy, rule of law, and justice. Rule of law says that we must conduct ourselves in according to the laws. And also it states very clearly that according to the Electoral Act, the political parties must adhere to the Namibian constitution. We can't have automaticity. It's not a feature of democracy. And Comrade Hake Kingo, who in Article 30 of the Namibian constitution vowed to uphold the Namibian constitution and to respect it, is violating that very vow. And what happens if you don't win the presidential race? Who? What will you happen? You? Me? Yes. You're asking the wrong question. Why is that the wrong question, Doctor? Because I will win. You will be the next president of Namibia. Be certain about that. Thank you. Thank you.